The massive nuke. Uh, this is a bad idea. Was lowered down the shaft before concrete was poured on top. <laughs> Just like that. Lowering a nuclear warhead into a borehole. It has to be precisely designed for underground detonation, hard encasing, and environmental controls. Any failure in containment or shielding could cause radioactive venting or premature detonation. You see, three years earlier, a gas well had erupted into flames. Gas blow out. And a fireball over 400 feet high burned constantly. Engineers tried to put it out with water, but it did nothing. Gas blowouts can be quite dangerous, but this isn't justification for setting off a nuke as plan B. It highlights the need for better prevention and reservoir pressure modeling. And installing a lid only forced the gas out in other places. Finally, they sent down a nuclear bomb. And when it detonated... So this thing had a yield of about 30 kilotons, so bigger than the one used on Hiroshima. The massive blast compressed the earth around the well. A nuclear explosion underground causes intense heat and shock, creating a melted glass line cavity and collapsing nearby rock tunnels. And there is a very real risk of radioactive gas venting into atmosphere. The surrounding geology has to be perfectly analyzed because any porous rocks could lead to radioactive escape paths. And it's nearly impossible to model this with the precision necessary for such an operation. This closed up the pipe, finally putting an end to the fire. The long-term integrity of the seal is unknown, and there is a real risk of radioactive contamination underground. So, yeah. Um, using a nuclear bomb to seal a gas well, I can't endorse this. This is a relic of Cold War desperation, not an engineering solution.